your teacher just tells you, oh, okay, you just cross those out. Yay, we're having fun, right? This is the reason why, though. I mean, we're, never gonna, we're not going to show this. We're just going to cross out the number. But I want you to understand why we can do that is because we're actually dividing 2 by 2 and making a 1 out of that and multiplying by 1. Do you follow? Yeah. Okay, good. So what is left on the left-hand side of our equation? 2 divided by 2. On the left-hand side of our equation. Oh, okay. On the right-hand side, yeah, we have 10 divided by 2. Let's do that. What is 10 divided by 2? Uh, Perfect. Now, can you plug that in and check your solution? Yes. At least in your head you should be doing that. So we plug this back in, 2 times 5 is 10. Hey, that's true. We get this one right. Let's keep going off you. We'll do several more together. I'll give you a few to do on your own. We'll talk about um, one more, for instance, on these equations, and then we'll be good to go for uh, chapter 2. Negative 7, y equals 35. Ladies and gentlemen, am I supposed to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? What do you think? Right. Why won't addition work here? Because you know a lot of people go, well, there's a minus right up front. Oh, that's right. It's a negative 7. So it's actually negative 7 times y. So we need to get rid of the negative 7 times y. And we're going to do, what was that again? What are you going to divide by? Positive 7. seven. seven. Positive, seven. positive 7. Okay. Let's see what would happen. I want you to notice this. We're going to try positive 7. Please watch on the board. If you try positive 7, you're sure enough going to get 5 over here. But I want you to look at this. Is there anything that's going to eliminate that negative? No. no, no. So if you divide it by positive 7, please watch carefully, what you would end with, that negative doesn't just magically disappear, right? You're not Harry Potter with your math wand and disappearing <laughs> negatives. That'd be awesome. But you'd actually get negative y out of that. Do you want negative y? No. What do you want? Positive y. Well, positive y. That's right. Well, positive y. If ever you do this and you get down here, don't lose your negative. You can just say if negative y equals 5, y equals negative 5. That's true. You would divide by a negative. However, to make this a little bit easier, to, can I kind of see that? What we're going to do is divide by the exact same number that you have in front of your y. The negative has to be included. And the reason why we do that, if you think back to my example over here, what's going to create 1? Is this going to create a positive 1? That's going to create negative 1. That's going to create positive 1. Negative divided by negative is a positive. Are you with me on this? Yes. That's why we divide by exactly the same number. So whatever you have in front of your variable, you're dividing by exactly that, including the sign. Raise your hand if you understand that. Good, OK. So in our case, yes, these, this negative 7 and this negative 7 are exactly the same. They create a positive 1 for us. We get y. On the right-hand side, 35 divided by negative 7. What do we get, ladies and gentlemen? Negative 5. Good. You're using the multiplication rules, aren't you? Because we're multiplying and dividing. That's awesome. So we need to know when we're adding and subtracting, use addition rules. When we're multiplying and dividing, we use multiplication rules. And our answer is negative 5. You could still plug it in, couldn't you? Negative 7 times negative 5. Hey, that's positive 35. You must have done it right. Three x equals negative eighteen. Ladies and gentlemen, what are you going to do to solve this problem? Divide, Divide by what, please? Three. You mean one side or both sides? Both. So when I'm dividing, should I divide by positive three here and negative three over here on the right hand side, or no. the same? Thing? Okay, so same thing no matter what. This creates our one for us. That's why we can get rid of it. That's why we did that step, because we're dividing 3 by 3. That's making a 1. I showed you that on that example. And the right-hand side, how much do we get? Negative 6. Perfect. Always be checking your answers, at least in your head also. Plug that back in. Do the 3 times negative 6. Verify that's equal to negative 18. And then you know you get the right answer. Does it still work if I put the variable on the other side of the equation? Is that still okay? Yeah. 
So on our problem here, are we still going to divide? What are we going to divide by? Four. Perfect. So if we divide both sides by four, it doesn't really matter where the variable is. We still can create that one. We still do our division rule over there. Negative 32 divided by four is how much, folks? Let's do one more together. I'll give you something to do on your own, and then we'll move on to uh, some division. So last one, we still have that equation. So we still have both sides of this thing. Now we're looking at this. Our variable is on which side? Yeah, left side. Okay. How are we going to get rid of what we need to get rid of in this case? Perfect. So we, we are divided by the negative in this case, right? Yes. So exactly what's in front of our x, that's what we're divided by. Here, what's going to happen on the left-hand side? What happens? Good. Why? Very good. And 5 divided by 5 equals how much? Good. That's why this whole thing even works. You're creating a 1 on the division that's leaving you with an x because you didn't touch the x. On the right-hand side, how much are we going to get? 8. Positive or negative? Good. Again, you're using that, the division multiplication rules, right? Because that's what we're doing. I'd like you to try some on your own. They won't take you very long, but make sure you're showing your work. Okay, if you're not showing your work, I take points off for that, especially on your test. So make sure that you're showing your work on this. But right now, some of, you, some of you are pretty good at math in your head. And you can look at this and go, well, yeah, I mean, obviously it's going to be A, duh. But I want to see the work because later on, trust me, you're not going to be able to do this in your head. Right? If, you, if you think you can, I can show you some examples where you can't. Okay? Believe me. So getting this groundwork down, showing your steps now, is really going to benefit you later on. Are you with me on that? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's try these. Let's show our work on this. I'll be walking around. If you're struggling with this stuff, raise your hand, let me know, and I'll come around and help you. 5y equals negative 30, 42 equals negative 7a, negative 2x equals negative 34, negative 12y equals, let's make that 48. And negative 36 equals negative 4z. I see lots of good work so far. That's great. Let's take about another minute and wrap this thing up, and then we'll get started.
So I like to draw that vertical line to tell me what I do on one side. I have to do the exact same thing on the other side. That way, if ever I'm not matched up, I know I'm doing something wrong. So on our first one, we have 5y equals negative 30. What are we going to do to solve 5y equals negative 30? And we get y equals how much? Perfect. Next one, we notice our variables on the right-hand side. We have that negative 7 being multiplied by a. We're going to divide both sides by negative 7. That's the only way that we're going to create a positive a over here. Notice we still have the same exact thing. Negative 7s are gone. That's why we did that step to create a 1. 1 times a just gives us a. That's why that whole thing works. We do 42 divided by negative 7. And hopefully, you got negative 6. Are these all going to be negative 6? No. no. Next up, we got negative 2x equals negative 34. Again, we got a negative times that variable. We need to get rid of that negative 2. Since it's being multiplied, we're going to divide. That's the operation that undoes multiplication for us. So when we divide by negative 2, of course, our negative 2s are gone. We're creating 1. Negative 2 over negative 2 gives us positive 1. That's going to leave us with just an x. On the right-hand side, however, we have negative 34 divided by negative 2. Negative over a negative gives a positive by our multiplication slash division rules. We're going to get 17. Same thing happens with this. We, are, we do need to divide by our negative 12. Negative 12s are going to create that positive 1, giving us a y. On the right-hand side, we have 48 divided by negative 12. Again, multiplication division rules tell us two different signs. We're going to end with a positive or negative here. Negative. Good. Negative. Four. And last up, our variables back on the right-hand side of our equation. We do have to get rid of that negative 4. Because it's being multiplied, we do have to divide both sides by negative 4. When we do that, we'll cross that out because it's creating a positive 1, leaving us with a z. And over here, we have a negative over a negative again. We're going to get positive 9. Positive 9 out of 1. How many have got all five of those correct? Good for you. That's fantastic. Were you checking your work as you were going through it? Were you plugging those in to the, to the original equation? Good. Now, there's one more thing we can talk about. You see, we've had equations where we've added things on and subtracted, and we've had now where we've multiplied, we got rid of that. We haven't really talked about division. Let's take a look at what that looks like. That way, when you get to homework, you're like, oh, well, that's not so bad, because you're going to have some of this on that section 2.6. So how's the division look? Well, when we deal with division in equations, typically it's not given us, to us with that divide sign. We, we really don't see that a whole lot. What we see is a fraction. And so we're going to see some things that look like fractions. For example, like that. Hey, does that still mean x divided by 5? Does it mean, what's the fraction 